According to the Health Research Institute, one in five Americans have a wearable fitness device. One in ten wear them every day. Port of NBC's Taylor Terrell found out middle Georgians are also buying into fitness apps and devices hoping to turn their health around. It never fails. You walk into any gym like Wellness Center, Navison Health, and you'll find someone working out, but you'll also find someone wearing a fitness tracker. I spoke to a group health instructor who told me checking your vitals daily is not just a trend, it's a way of life. It is working, and it is the next greatest thing. Within five minutes of walking into the Wellness Center, Navison Health, it caught my eye. It's really about bringing yourself to awareness and where you are and where you could and need to be. Fitness devices. One, two, three. The list goes on. Group instructor Lisa Sineker owns several. She recommends anyone looking to get in shape should never leave their wrist empty. It tracks stairs. It tracks calories. It does a lot of stuff. Seneca believes using an app or any type of fitness device, even for a simple walk, makes a big difference. There's lots of different options. There's Garmin, Fitbit, Polar, Leaf, and Apple, all of which count your steps and keep you on track. Thomas Wright Jr. keeps track of his vitals using his fitness apps and devices. His goal is simply to monitor his daily, weekly, and monthly progress. Well, with my journey, it really helps me to know which days I'm active and which days I'm not as active. Even when he's pushing his limits, the range of numbers are there as proof. He's giving his workout everything he's got. Yeah, checking it every hour, like, okay, I need to get some more steps. I need to get up and get moving. So, yeah, that's me all day. Fitness trackers are making a difference for Seneca and her gym members. They're all different prices. Um, there's ones that clip on. There's ones that are very, very inexpensive. Save your money. Ask for it for Christmas. But I think um, having one will make you more aware of what you're doing. Keeping track of your heart rate, sleep, calories burned, no matter the age, no matter the health journey. It's not just the older folk. It's not just 40s and not just 30s. Even the 16-year-olds are asking for trackers. I've got a confession to make. I'm one of many who checks their device regularly. That's just to make sure that I'm staying active. But some advice from Seneca, if you do have a device or if you plan on getting one in the near future, just make sure that you make small goals in the beginning. And then after that, knock them out. In Macon, Taylor Terrell, 41 NBC News. If you're not ready to make a purchase on a fitness device, there are plenty of free apps to keep you moving. Some of the most popular choices are MyFitnessPal, RunKeeper, and EndoMonitor.